Hey guys, a really, really warm welcome back to today's video. I've got myself a turmeric active today, so ginger and turmeric, and I'm feeling all the coziness. It's so dark outside. I wanted to get this video up for anybody that is looking for affordable Christmas gifts. Now I've done an Aldi Beauty Dupes video before and I'm going to do another Aldi Beauty Dupes this week so hopefully you would like to stick around and subscribe so you can check that video out but today we're talking about perfume dupes. The perfect present without breaking the bank. Is that a title? We'll think on that one. So I hope you enjoy the video guys, do give it a like if you do like it, of course, and why not subscribe to stick around to see three videos every single week, or to help you guys live your best life on a budget. Let's get into the video, have a sip of tea, and crack on with these dupes. So I actually discovered, whilst making this video, I'm not the best at describing scents, so perhaps not the best video for me to do, but we're gonna get there guys. I've written down all the descriptions, I'm gonna give you my best attempt at describing them. Does anyone else find that difficult to describe scents? I don't know if that is a medical thing, <laughs> but loads of these are amazing value for money. So I've actually been trying to make this video for months now. I've been scouring the shops, I've been going into different perfume shops. Do you know that they don't do, uh, perfume samples anymore. Mm, they don't seem to do them. We don't have any like major designer shops or anything like that nearby. So we've gone with things like this and I've had to go back and get them re-sprayed so I can have them here and now. But all of these are, I would say around six pounds to 10 pounds, maybe a 12 pound in there. But they are all amazing dupes for your very much loved uh, designer fragrances, fragrances, <laughs> fragrances. So we've got things like Dior, Chanel, Chloe, Hugo. We've got lots. So let me know, guys, before we watch this video, what your favourite perfume is. I'd love to know. I actually started off when I filmed this, when I started planning this video, I didn't have any perfumes, and now I've got lots of lovely perfumes. So hopefully, you're going to find one in here that you might like to get, or if you might just be interested in knowing the kind of dupes that are out there. Obviously, these are inspired by. We're not going to be saying they're a copy. Apparently, as a fragrance or a product has to have five differences to be able to be marketable or saleable. Okay, so we've got everything from Zara, Primark. Uh, Superdrug, we've got some online, we've got Lidl, we've got lots of perfume dupes here. This one is the one that I'm going to show you first. This is the Blossom range from Superdrug. This is actually their la Labour Lab layering fragrances. <laughs> so these are really good for layering on top of each other to create your own signature or just a mixture of what you want to wear. And this one I bought because it's the Body Mist. Now who remembers a Body Mist? Like off of when they were 16 and buying like, what was that one called with like the black and the white so was it or something like that? I'm sure that was a super drug fragrance. So this one is $3.99 and they actually have the Eau de Parfum which is $7.99 as well. So I went with this one because it was more more affordable. This is a dupe for Terry uh, Mugler Alien, which is actually a really kind of strong, powerful fragrance. And I'm not saying this is as powerful. It doesn't last as long, but the fragrance, I'm just gonna move my cup of tea <laughs> because I don't wanna spray my perfume into it. The fragrance, which by the way, Alien is 78 pounds. This one is, I'm gonna spray it. Um, I'll move my water as well. So. This fragrance is so nice. I actually think this is quite like the Jean Paul Gaultier, um, um, the one in the bottle with like the body on it, the original. I think it smells just like that. I don't think it smells as much like Alien as apparently it's meant to, but it is amazing. I really, really love this. It, this is Blossom Body Mix, and it does say use individually or mix for two fragrances for a unique scent, which is a really nice idea. Uh, it doesn't actually give me the kind of scent smells on there, but I would say it's quite like a mature, a mixed kind of sweet, but elegant. It's a really deep kind of florally smell that I just love. It's quite fresh as well. It's a really, really nice fragrance. And also for $3.99, this would make a really nice stocking filler present or uh, a nice present for someone 
uh, or maybe a younger person. Like I say, I remember these body myths from Superdrug off of the early 90s, shall we say. I probably should add, by the way, that obviously I haven't bought all of the original fragrances, so I've got them on these, um, like, smelly things that they do for you in the shops because they don't have samples any longer. Also, some of the fragrances later on in the video, I've got some video footage of it and I'll put some clips on the screen, but I haven't bought everything here because that would be a waste of money and too much clutter for the house. So hopefully that's okay. But moving on now to Lidl. Now we will head back to Superdrug because they've got a few more that I've got, which I feel like Superdrug have really upped their game with their dupes. But onto Lidl. So this is Suddenly and this is a range. So they also do Suddenly Madame Glamour, which is a dupe for the Coco Mademoiselle Chanel fragrance. But they didn't have that in stock, sadly. So I've gone for this one, which is the Femel. I feel like that should say for male fragrance. Now this one, and I've gone into the perfume shop, is a dupe for a Chloe perfume, which, okay. So I've got my coffee, because you're meant to like refresh your palette with that in between. And once I finish in here, this room is gonna be like walking into the perfume shop, which was um, £7.99, I believe. Oh, that smells really nice. Really grown up again. Um, like quite f very feminine, very fr floral, fruity. Let me smell the Chloe. They literally, they literally smell the same. And for what, 7 99 versus 88 pounds for the Chloe. So the bottle and the color is actually quite same color. The bottle for the Chloe has got ridges on it. Um, same shape, but actually it's kind of deeper. Um, but I would say for 7 99 that is a really lovely dupe and a nice Christmas present as well. People, you know, don't need to know where it's from. They wouldn't know that from looking at it, or apart from it says Lidl there, but it's not kind of like branded Lidl. So I think that is also a really, really nice fragrance to give for Christmas. Let's have a reset. Okay, so onto Primark perfume dupes. And as I said, I've got a whole Primark dupes video already. I'll leave it linked for you in the description bar. And there's also a new Primark beauty dupes video coming soon to this channel. So don't forget to subscribe. And in fact, give this video a like right now if you're enjoying it. And uh, get involved in the comments below what your favorite dupes are and what your favorite perfumes are initially and if they match up to the dupes. Or if you haven't tried it, maybe you can ask a question and see if anyone knows the answer. So this is the um, collection privé, the private collection uh, from Primark, and this was nine pounds. And the reason I got this is because it comes with three different scents. And these ones are the Jo Malone inspired ones. So we've got Rose, Oud, Pomegranate and Black Tea, and Pear and White Flower. So they've all, so Rose, Oud, 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 I don't know how you'd say that. I'm not a big Rose fan at all, so I'll show you close up what these look like. So they're really good for taking on holiday, having in your bag, having as a little reset, maybe in your desk drawer, something that you can like put around so that if you're somewhere and you want to refresh it, because these are not gonna last as long as the, the real McCoy, obviously, because they are not <laughs> as expensive. In fact, these ones, nine pounds. The Jo Malone is around 76 pounds for the Jo Malone perfume. So this is Rose Ud, Ud. Yeah, it's really, really rosy. It's coming out and it actually says here, so it's got like a woody and a leather smell. I can only smell rose and I'm not a fan of rose at all. Deep, like a depth to it. Uh, I don't have the Jo Malone perfumes, obviously, they're very expensive, but I know lots of people have got them and they absolutely love them. But I feel like what you could do with these dupes is where, if you were to have a Jo Malone, maybe you got it for Christmas or something like that, you could wear the Jo Malone in the, in the evening when you go out and then in the daytime, just pick up one of your dupe ones. So let's go in now with the pomegranate and black tea. Now I do know what this one smells like. I can't tell you what the rose oud smells like because I don't own it, I haven't ever smelt it, but I have smelt the pomegranate um, fragrance. Obviously we know that Aldi love a bit of a pomegranate noir, and number three I think that one is, maybe it's number one as a dupe. Uh, so let's smell, I'm really interested to see this with the black tea. Oh, that is nice. It smells really similar to the Aldi pomegranate, but you can smell like that real woody, leathery smell to that. 
It's quite spicy though. An evening scent is really complex actually. I really like that one. Yeah, that one's really nice. And finally in this set is the pear and white flower. So they've got a flower, a wood, I'll show you what they've got here. A wooden, um, whatever that is, and then whatever that is. Did I mention I'm not very good at describing the smells? I really like these sizes as well. Like they're just really nice. Excuse my nails, I got chipped one while I was cleaning the bathroom. Oh, this is really different to anything I've smelt before today. I wanna to say fruity, but it's not fruity. It's really different and I can't explain, but I think that's one of my favorites. If you have got the Jo Malone um, Pear and Freesia, please do let me know what it smells like, if you can describe it. I just really, really like that. It's not very intense, it's a very subtle fragrance and it's kind of the fruit, flower, but it's not floral and it's not fruity. <laughs> Someone needs to make a parody video of Lara trying to explain fragrances because she's not very good at it, but that is a really nice one. So they were nine pounds and they are the 20 mil. <laughs> Wouldn't be a video unless I threw something around the room. Um, 20, uh, 20 mil, so these are really nice. As I said, really nice stocking filler, pop it in or, you know, a work colleague present or something like that. So next up, let's go to Superdrug again. So this one is the Patchouli Passion and it's boxes like this. And let me open it up for you. These are all vegan friendly as well, which is really nice. Um, and this is like their Artelia range. Um, Atelier, but on their fragrances they do buy one get one half price, which is really good uh, value. Now this one is the uh, dupe for the La Vie Es Belle uh, by Lancome. Let's have a little refresh guys. Okay, so this one is really nice. It's like peach, you've got like orange in there as well. Orange flower, got it. Praline, vanilla, and patchouli. And patchouli is actually a really strong fragrance. I'm really smelling peach. Yeah, this one feels like it's a little bit of a warmer scent. A little bit more deep, like depth to it. But I really like this one. This one's, I, I like being drawn to these fruity ones. This one is a nicer smell almost. And it's way cheaper. I really like that one. So the La Vie Es Belle is £75 for the 100ml and this one is 50 mil for £7. As I said, all vegan friendly and again you could layer these ones but the range at uh, Superdrug, they've got loads of these Atelier perfumes so they're all like um, made by different perfume perfumers. This one's Vincent Record. Vincent Record. Really like that one. That's a really good value perfume as well. Okay, so on to one that I got online. This is the Perfume Vault collection, of which they have got tons, and I mean tons, of different inspired perfumes. So this one is number 186. I'm just getting my perfume strip ready. And this one was 14.95. So it is more expensive. But these are, so this is a 30ml um, Eau de Parfum. So it is gonna be stronger than an Eau de Toilette. And this is the inspired by the Penhaligon's uh, Halfetti, which one of my best friend wears. And I smell it all the time on her, so I know exactly what it smells like. And it is so similar, guys. This is, so the Penhaligon's is 178, and this one is 14.95. Yeah, that is 178 pounds. 178 pounds how like they can charge that much for a perfume so this is like really really complex it's rich it's floral it's woody it's citrus it's like burnt wood like not quite charcoal like bergamot i think is what i'm smelling there it's a really complex smell it's like so many different assets to it like aspects so online they've got so many i got this from ebay and uh, I actually got Stuart one as well, which I probably should have had for this video. It was, I don't, I don't know the number, but it was um, Creed, the Creed inspired one, and it smells exactly the same, and it is so sexy. It's like, you know like men's fragrance, it's just like 
mm, like sexy. In fact, speaking of which, let me show you this one. Going over to Superdrug again. So this is um, grapefruit, vet, ever, patchouli, and cedarwood. Guys, this scent, so I've got it here, it <laughs> is the Blue de Chanel. Vetiver Arom, and it's a really nice blue bottle. I've taken the lid off, should have kept that on. There we go. It's quite kind of Tom Ford esque, that lid, I would say. So, yeah, Blue de Chanel, and let's spray it. This is um, men's, guys, it's so sexy. It's like <laughs> Aqua de Gio. Yeah, bergamot, you can smell, it's quite woody, it's really rich, it's quite a little bit of citrus. Uh, what did I say on here? Oh, grapefruit, that's what it's making it quite citrusy. And the Blue de Chanel is £94, guys, £94. So this is a 50ml, and for 100ml they're doing two for £16. That's good value as well. Right, what have we got left to show you? So what I'm going to do now is talk through a couple that are really good dupes. I've got some footage in the store. I didn't buy them because, as I said, it's just a waste of money because I don't need that many perfumes. I did want to show you as much as I could. This room is smelling incredible, talking about layering. <laughs> so the Zara Gardenia. This one is a dupe for the YSL Black Opium, which I have owned in the past. And it is so similar. So it's florally, coffee, sandalwood like a kind of sweet, woody fragrance. The YSL Black Opium, I think, is about £68, and the Zara Gardenia was about £14. So it's still more expensive. Oh, no, £12.99, sorry. It's still more expensive, but it is a really, really nice dupe. It's a really nice bottle. It's like a chunky bottle. I really like the look of it, and I really love the YSL Black Opium uh, perfume. It's like a really nice nighttime date night perfume so that's a really good one to look out for next is uh the ebony wood so they've got loads of these really sleek packaged uh designed ones like really minimalist really nicely to nice to look at and to have on the side um the ebony is actually sold out everywhere and i couldn't get hold of it for like for ages but i did find it in one of the zara's near us um it's kind of like a woody clovey sort of um, peppery smell, it's really, really luxe, really smells affordable. Um, I think it was coming in at 19.99, so it is more expensive. Uh, and it is, I would say, a dupe for the Jo Malone wood sage, wood sage and sea salt. It's like that really kind of woody, masculine cologne smell. So 86 pounds, 86 pounds. Another one I found was Teas in Primark. Uh, this one's six pounds and it's a really kind of pretty bottle to have on the side um it's a bit different donna which is 77 pounds and it's not as strong like i wouldn't say it's as strong at all it doesn't really last very long i just smell it and then i walked around with it and i couldn't smell it after about 40 minutes so yeah probably one to avoid but it is quite a good well-known dupe and uh, they also do their love range so ps love Pretty pink, it's like a really nice delicate rose and vanilla, really feminine, but again, it's not got as much of a punch. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really, really did love making it. It was a bit of a labor of love going around and finding all of these samples and everything. My throat is like closing up now, so I'm gonna go and open some windows, but I really hope it was helpful if you're looking for some more affordable present ideas or maybe some dupes of your favorite that you wanna wear in the evening and you wanna wear the dupe for the daytime. Let me know if you want me to do a video like this again and give it a like if you did enjoy it and of course subscribe to see more from me. Loads more Christmas videos, loads more affordable gifting and planning and lots of budgeting as well. Thank you for being here guys and watching and I'll see you so soon, bye. <laughs>